Hey everyone and welcome. This video is a recreation from a photo I saw on Butte Soup's Instagram. Definitely check her out if you want any different and cool makeup inspiration. My lids have already been primed and prepped, so I'm first going to go in with Chickadee from Makeup Geek. I'm going to sweep that across my crease. I'm going to blow it out, diffuse it all over. Now I'm taking this orange eyeshadow and I'm going to place it the same way I did with the last eyeshadow, but a little lower than before. I want to give a gradient effect on my lid, so I'm going in with deeper shades to do so. I just diffuse it and blow it out lower than the previous eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this deeper orange eyeshadow and doing the same exact thing. I'm making sure to wing the eyeshadow out as well. And if you don't think something is blended enough, just keep on blending until you get the look that you desire. Now I'm going to take a concealer and cut out my crease. Make sure you are using a concealer that will dry completely and that is full coverage. And I'm going to slowly wing out the concealer. For any wing look just make sure you are taking your time you're being patient and you will get the look you desire especially with a lot of practice now I'm just going to set that creamy base with a neutral eyeshadow just to ensure that the concealer doesn't move around now I'm going in with chocolate hair by coastal Sense. I did finish the other eye off camera just so I can save time on the other eye. I'm going to apply that dark brown in my crease as well and wing it out. I should have did this before I cut my crease because I can get that line how dark I want it or how blended I want it. I am gonna go in with a deeper shade. This is a gray eyeshadow and that's going to deepen up the line even further. As you can see, each time I go in with an eyeshadow, I'm using smaller brushes just so I can get the placement I want. And then I'm going back in with the previous blending brush and blending those edges, making sure that dark gray is blending seamlessly into the brown. Now, I did apply a black base on my lids. This is going to ensure that the green eyeshadow I will apply on top is going to be bright and vibrant. So using that, I'm going to place that all over my lids. Then I'm going to take an angled brush and this is going to help me wing out that black base. Now I'm going in with the concealer again. This one's a little lighter than before because I'm going to cut out that crease and create a negative space. I think that's what that's called but I really did like that dramatic effect in this look. So just take your time. I did apply too much at first, but you wanna start off with the smallest amount and apply that directly into the crease. After that has been placed, I'm gonna set it. This is a satin eyeshadow. It does have some sheen to it. I'm going to set it in place. This is gonna make that line stand out and just make it a little bit more vibrant. After that is done, I am going to clean up the lines with the black base again on that angled brush just to make sure all my lines are clean and as sharp as possible. Now going in with that lid shade, I'm using this dark forest green from Coastal Scents. I'm going to press it. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush because this is great at packing on eyeshadow so I can get as much pigmentation in one direct area. I'm going to place that all over that black base to set that black base and to ensure that green is very bright and vibrant. Now I'm going in with that green mossy eyeshadow in the center and it does have a great sheen to it. I'm going to pop that on the middle of my eyelid. Now I'm going to take light apricot and I'm going to apply that in the center as well. And I will go in with any fine tuning, cleaning up the lines, and adding more product if need be. For my lower lash line, I did line them with a black cold pencil. And now I'm just setting it with that green eyeshadow. And I will go in with the orange eyeshadow right underneath that just to bring the whole look together. I believe I am applying Ardell 203 Double to my lash line. I wanted a lash that was dramatic and would make my eyes pop out even more. 
So I'm quickly going to do my face. I'm going in with my infamous Revlon Color Stay. If you've been with me for so long, since the beginning of me starting my YouTube, I've been using this faithfully because it's still one of my favorite foundations. It's just so beautiful. I love this foundation. Now I'm going to highlight. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Once I have that placed, I'm going to blend that out with the same foundation brush. This is going to ensure that I don't get any distinct lines and everything is blended evenly. I'm going to set that creamy product and I'm using a light powder by Graftobian. Now I'm going to take this highlighter from Lancome. It's a dual finish highlighter in the shade Dazzling Bronze. This highlighter has to be one of my favorite highlighters. You can definitely tell that this is high quality and it is a pretty penny just because it blends so smoothly on my skin. It's not chunky, it's straight sheen, it's straight shine. That's it. I love this. I've been wearing this non-stop ever since I got it. It's amazing. Thank you so much Lancome for sending this to me because I absolutely adore this. And I'm glad I got the deepest shade because this bronzy gold looks so amazing against my skin. For lips, I'm going in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Kapow. I didn't see a lip shade she used on her Instagram, so I just went with this. Let me know what you thought of this look. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Do you like me doing recreations from other artists? I know you guys wanna see more how-to videos and I'm going to have that on the way, so stay tuned. If you stay to the end, make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.